Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will understand what is a function in Excel with the help of three basic examples. So let's get started with the first example. Here we have a data set of a student name, their scores and based on their scores, we want to calculate their grades or basically we want to grade these students, right? Now here I have written a couple of assumptions. The first is if the score is greater than or equal to 40, then the student has passed the exam. All right. And the second is if score is less than 40, then the student has failed the exam. So we will use these assumptions in our if formula. So here in the grade cell where we want to write this formula, I have selected this cell. Now here we have this FX button, which means insert function. I will click on this button and then select the function, which is if function and then click on OK. Once we click on OK, we have this function arguments dialog box, which basically wants us to enter three values or three arguments. The first being the logical test. So what is this logical test? Now, this logical test is to judge if a student is passed or failed. So basically, we want to write in this logical test that if this score, so I'll click on this, as you can see, it selects the cell, which is B. Two. So if this score is greater than or equal to 40. All right. So this will be our logical test. Now, what is it? If this B2, that means our student score is greater than or equal to 40, then we have this assumption, which means the student has passed the exam. So here, if this value is true, we will write pass. Right, And if this logical test is false, then we will write fail. All right. So I will press OK. And it says pass because the student's score here is greater than 40, which is 85. Now I can write the same function again here. But instead of rewriting this formula, we can simply just select the cursor here. As you can see, it changes the shape and color. Now we will just dra drag it down and it automatically fills the formula for other students. So we can see all of these students are passed except for Michael because Michael's score is less than 40. That is why it has written as fail, right? Now we have the next example. As you can see in this data set, we have the expenditure, then we have the allotted budget, then we have the spent column and then we need to check the status, right? So basically, let's say you are on an office trip and you have been to a hotel. Now you have been allotted $4,500 for that hotel and you spent $4,000. That means you have saved $500 here for your organization. So in the status, we can write that in budget. Similarly, here in the lunch, as you can see, the allotted budget to you was $3,500, but you have spent $3,600, which is a $100 extra. So you have crossed the budget. So we can write here over budget. Right now, we are not going to hard code these values. We are going to write these values with the help of if function. So let me just delete them. So, to use the if function here, we will click on this cell, right? And then we can just press here and then this will help us insert the if function. But we are not going to use this method this time. So, let me just close it. We are going to use our keyboard. So, here I will write equals and then I will write if and then I'll say open parenthesis. As you can see, it is pretty much the same thing. First, we need to write the logical test. So what is going to be the logical text in this case? Understand carefully. This is our allotted budget and we have spent this much. So basically, we are going to write this spent. We have spent this much. If this spent is greater than the allotted budget, then a comma and then we have to write value if true. So if the spent is greater than the allotted budget, we have to write over budget. So I'll write here over budget. 
and then comma. And then what if the value is false? What if this logical test is false? If the spent greater than allotted budget is false, in that case, we are going to write in budget. And then I will just close this parenthesis and hit enter. And as you can see, it says in budget. Now to repeat the formula for others, no, we are not going to do that. Instead, here we'll take our cursor and we will just drag it down. And as you can see, it automatically calculates. For the hotel, we are in budget. But for the lunch, we have spent $100 extra, as you can see. So we are over the budget. For dinner, we are in budget. And for the traveling, we are over budget. Right? Now we have the last example. Now in this example, we have this small data set of project name and then we have the project deadlines and we want to check the status. Now, I don't know on which date you are exactly watching this video. So for the purpose of simplification, we will assume that today is 1st of January 2025, right? So here, as you can see, the project name website has a deadline of 23rd December 2024, all right? So here, I want the status to be time is over, all right? Because this date is gone because today is again 1st of January 2025. Similarly, for this one, I again want this time is over. But here for the database project, the date is 23rd of January 2025, which means we still have time. So I will write here, we have time. Now, I'm not going to write this for everyone, but we will calculate these values using the if function. Very simple. So let me just delete this. And here to write the if function, I'll just click on this cell and I'll write equals if and then open parenthesis. Now, first is the logical test. Now, we need to check if this deadline is basically less than or equal to our today's date, which is 1st January 2025. So here I'll select this deadline and then I'll say if this deadline is less than or equal to. Now to write the date, we cannot just simply write 01, 01. We need to use another small function, which is very simple. I'll write that function. It is date value. So I'll write date value. And inside after the date value function, I'll write parenthesis. Now inside we have to write the date. So I'll write the date something like this. It is going to be 1st January 2025. All right. And then I will close the parenthesis for this date value formula. After this, comma. So this is our logical test. If this deadline is less than or equal to this date of 1st January 2025, then what if the value is true? What if this logical test is true? In that case, I want to write time is over. That means the deadline is gone. Comma. And if this logical test is false, in that case, I want to write we have time. So I'll write, we have time and I'll close the parenthesis and hit enter. And as you can see for this one, the time is over. Now, instead of writing the function again, we can simply just place our cursor here and drag it down for other cells and it automatically calculates. So for the website, time is over for mobile app, time is over. But for these three, we still have time. All right. So this was another use case of if function in Excel. So that will be it for this video. I hope that this video has given you a clear understanding of if function in Excel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Share this video with your friends and I will see you in the next one.